have been walking about, oh, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Seeing a bachelor herd feed back up into the hills here. One had shed. Um, we kind of went around the other side of the draw from them just to make sure we didn't blow them out of here. And uh, got up on this hillside right here. And there's just beds everywhere. You probably can't see them from where I'm standing, but I mean, there's every one of these trees up here has got beds under it. So I know they've been hanging out here. So I looked over under this tree over here. Got a pretty good, it's like a four point shed laying right there. Get over there and pick it up, see what it is. Well, here it is, guys. First shed of the trip. And there's been deer bedding all over up in this country. It's crazy. Every one of these trees has got beds that have been used for years under them. That's a pretty good shed. There's actually a decent chance that came off a buck we saw walking up here a minute ago. Not a giant, but decent. Well, there it is, guys. It's a pretty good shed. He's not overly wide. Got a pretty good size two on him last year's shed. Not much for a base, but I'll take it. We got Nolan and Eric over there. Glass, and they glass one up, and it's a whole lot easier for me to get to it, so I'm gonna come pick it up. There he is. Say hello. Decent four right there. That's last year's. Decent four point. Well, it's about time. Got my first brown of the year. Hiked way up here on this hill. Seen a couple of decent bucks. Found one on the way up. And picked one that one up for Nolan. And uh, found my first brown of the year. I know it doesn't look very brown, but it's brown. That's this year's shed, so he's a monster. I don't know how long it's been laying, but I guess that's a shed anyway. Well, this one's not quite worth busting out the big video cameras, so anyway, got another little guy here. Not a real big one, kind of cool little shed though. Blighted in the back, really short beam, but anyway, we'll keep going on down the hill and see if I can't pick up a couple more here. Well, what do you got? Dude, look at the boneyard, man. Nice. <laughs> you probably did better than I did. Well, I see you're packing a couple, but you're packing one of mine. Think so? Look at this freak. Dude, that thing is a freak. Oh, man, I wish he had more of a frame, but... Kind of a heavy old buck. Probably regressed old buck going downhill. Yeah. That's a sweet shed. Look at the shape of it. Yeah, that's when they turn back real hard like that from the base, it seems like they're really old. I'm surprised you didn't find his other side attached to the skull right there. No, I didn't really walk past that in the bottom. I did? Yeah. No, we, we oh, we did. On the way up. Really? Yeah, I was up on top and I was glassing down in and boom. See, that's see, a big shed, man. That's a solid one, huh? Yeah. Is that Let's two, see three years? The one two that, years. What you find, dude? So I got. That one's the first one I found. What? Not bad. We're at. Just right here at the, in the bottom. Dude, that's like a solid, dense horn. Yeah. We should it's actually same really focus on the bottom for a while. Yeah, I think the bottom and kind of the... the just like that first little yeah, the hills, yeah. Could just leave like our best. I don't know, I'm freaking winded though. What else? What that's the one I picked up that you guys glassed up. Are you serious? Yeah. This is the one I glassed? Yeah. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looked giant, didn't it? It looked way bigger. <laughs> Dude, no way. You swapped it out, man. Nope, that's Where's it. Where's my horn? Where's it at, Micah? That's the, that's the brown. The brown town. Micah is the brown king. It's kind of brown. <laughs> one fresh red. <laughs> it's brown-ish. And then I found, hey, we found some horns, man. that one. Is this from down here, low? That one was right up there in that burn. Been walking all freaking day. Found three and a crusty one that I left, and we're walking... What are we, like 10 yards from the road? Uh, <laughs> I'll look over and see this one. Pretty good shed. Dude. Big old two on that. That is a big old two. Kind of a cool shed. <laughs> Whoa, goofy, dude, goofy buck. <laughs> look at that thing. <laughs> this is the goofiest buck I've ever picked up. Oh, well, we got all of our stuff loaded up, ready for day two. See if we can beat the pile 
day two from day one. Eric lost his keys last night. Let's see if we can find those. That's going to be tough. Hi guys, I finally found something good. Been out here all weekend. I found a few here and there, but just nothing good. And I hear Eric hollering. Tommy finds this sweet set. Sees the one, walks over to pick it up, sees the other one, and they're so focused on that, they missed this. We're just standing right up here. Right there. What, like the first 30 side. yards or something? The first side was laying right there in the bottom. And they were just so focused on the sheds that totally missed this lane here. And I walk up and eh, it was out of my zone a little bit. Kind of kind of poached from you a little bit there. <laughs> but, uh, hey, but you know what? All that matters is that we're having fun. Yeah, that's right. We're having we a good all, time. We're all finding stuff. We're all high five now. I somehow managed to lose the other guys. I'm not really sure where they went. I got distracted, saw a couple little bucks walking over the hill, and uh, thought I'd go see if they were going to shed, and neither one of them dropped. But anyway, this is the coolest thing I think I've ever found. I've always wondered if these freaky stag bucks, under all their velvet, one, if it'll survive, and two, if each one of them points is scorable or not. And, I mean, definitely stag buck. Not much left of his antlers there, but... I mean, you can see every little freaking point on him is just crazy, like an inch long. Probably scoreable on some, some others not. It's freaking sweet though. Like I said, I've never, never found one. Always wondered if they'd survive. And, and this has been here a long time too. So I'm sure once he first shed, it was actually her first diet, I guess. Actually pretty sweet. Anyway, pretty sweet. I'll have to give Tommy and Eric and those guys some crap. I got lost from them, got distracted, and uh, their tracks are just right over there in that little open spot. And they missed this one. It's a pretty sweet three-point. Not a giant by any means, but it's a cool shed. almost thought it was just part of the yucca plant when I saw it. I saw it kind of coming through here, and I thought it was just dead yucca. I figured I'd better go check it out. And it turned out to be a decent three. Heck yeah.